All right, so uh, we're gonna start with a choke here. Very simple, okay, right now. Uh, we're gonna start with a knee cut pass. So many times that we are here in the fight, okay. Uh, I'm stapling the leg of my opponent, right? So he can scissor the legs. If you underhook my arm, you know, sometimes you underhook my arm, I'm gonna start getting his neck, okay? I can go for a regular cross choke here, but a lot of times when I do that, he flat his back on the floor. And then I end up like passing his guard. When I pass his guard, it's easy for him to escape the hips and recover the guard, okay? So when I'm on this position here, I want to, if you flat his back on the floor, I don't want to pass his guard yet, okay? And in order to choke my opponent, I must turn him sideways, okay? So if I pass his guard, it's just uh, an advantage for him to free the bottom leg and then start like either escaping the hip to cover the guard. Yeah, if he try to turn, like turns towards me, he's gonna get choked, okay? So he knows that he's gonna start like recovering the guard. Yes, and then simply like attacking my arm as well, okay? So I must have my opponent facing towards the side of my hand that's four finger inside his collar, okay? This leg here is my base, okay? So I'm not doing this, I'm not here, okay? I'm putting my kneecap on the floor, right here, okay? So many times when I'm on this position, like controlling the sleeve, controlling the collar, it's really hard for me to put a kneecap on the floor. Just because, um, his de la Hiva hook, reverse de la Hiva hook is really strong, okay? So I need to push his leg down, touch his thigh on the floor, then I can put my knee on the floor. If I don't do that, it's really hard for me to put his knee on the floor. But at the same time, if I use my hand on his knee to push his leg, okay? I lose contact with my opponent, okay? And a lot of times I need to use my hand on the floor or he's gonna shake me and then he's gonna end up recovering the guard. So I want to keep contact with him. So when I'm here first, before we get the, um, the knee cut, right, we're gonna control both collars without the cross collar grip. I like this collar grip, uh, this grip better. So once I grab the collar, it's kind of like I'm bringing him to me. You know when you want to have a nice talk with a guy, hey man, you know? You just say, hey man, you know? Hey everyone, don't forget to like and comment on this video, okay? This is very, very important. Oh, and also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's help us, okay? We help in the community, we help your jiu-jitsu, and hope you enjoy it. Us. Okay, so you, you just bring him to you, you curl him. Don't let him put his back on the floor, okay? So you bring him to you, and at the same time right now, you move just a little bit, putting his back on the floor, like this. So my knee pretty much goes in between his legs. So now I step my arm over his leg, and then I go back here. He's gonna put the reverse leg, he was still here, okay? I don't wanna do this, okay, to take his leg out. So I use my outside leg to push his shin. So I go with my knee right on top of his, the bottom of his knee, okay? Right on top of his shin. So I'm here, I go like this. And then I put my knee on the floor, okay? Because that way I'm still able like, to have contact with my opponent. When I get here, it's really hard for me to get this underhook. So he's gonna hug my back like this. But it's still, look, I want him sideways, that's great. So I just change my collar grip here. Okay, so I go for the cross collar. I grab the bottom collar. Usually we go for, uh, actually to, uh, this morning, Professor Dom, he showed like a cross choke from here, okay? Uh, it's a really good, uh, really great way for you to choke your opponent, okay? Once you get here, your opponent will close the neck, right, especially his chin against his chest. So I need to have his chin over my arm. So this part of my arm is right under his neck. And this is the hand that will choke my opponent. But if he's closing the chin, I'm gonna grab the gi right here, okay? I don't grab with the thumb in. You can grab the thumb in, but sometimes you don't have time. So you grab here, okay? So once you do that, you squeeze with your forearm over his, like right between his chin and his, uh, his face right here, okay? Right on the chin. So there is a bone here, there'll be like a hook for your form. Then you open his neck. Once you open his neck, now you can start choking. If you keep your opponent sideways, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be easy for you to choke your opponent. But one choke that I like to do here, I like to turn his sideways, and then I reach his belt. Okay, so I grab the belt here. So when I grab the belt, now instead of using my forearm to do the roll of like opening his neck, I use 
my lats, my armpits against his face. So I go one, and now I use my armpit against his face, and I can even put my armpit on, on the floor. Now, there is no problem for me to pass his guard. Because now, look, try to flatten your back on the floor. It's really hard because my form, it's here. Okay, so he can put his back on the floor. Put your back on the floor. I use my elbow on the floor. And now what I do, I put pressure off my lat against his face. I stretch my, my leg. And then I pull the collar. And then I choke my opponent. Okay, it's a very simple choke. One more time. <laughs> so I'm here. I go right there, like try to choke him, but sometimes when I go for the cross choke, he can use his knee to bump me over him like this, and I need to post my hand on the floor, and then he end up coming on top of me. So I go right here. Now bump me. I'm really heavy, put my elbow on the floor. So now I can pass his guard, use my armpit against his face. So I need to stretch this, arm, this leg here. If I keep here, I don't have weight on his face. I want to make him face towards the floor and then pull the collar. Now I choke him, okay? It's a very cool choke, easy to do, and very safe. Imagine, the forearm is already strong. Imagine your entire body against his face, okay? The same thing. But I cannot be here and turn like this, okay? Even though I can, you know, but I want to be on top. Because that way he don't come on top. If he comes on top of you, you're still able to choke him here. He's gonna tap, okay? You still, you can choke him. So you gotta just feel this part of your hand, okay? Between your, your uh, thumb right here, the hand, and the forearm, right on his neck, okay? So it's not like this. You cannot be loose. Try to grab with your thumb under his neck right here, okay? So then you get here. Okay. If I close the guard, for example, here, like this, try to escape, Professor. Look, it's really good for me to choke him as well. So you can use this if I have a long arm. You grab the collar, and let's say he's breaking the posture here, so you can grab his belt, and then you start. And if you have a stinky gi, stinky armpit, you step fast, like you tap faster. So we call like Dom just gave the name. Uh, is it the order or it's choke? Okay. So you just give him some love, okay? So. <laughs> Again, so I'm here, okay? Grabbing the collar, right? So my arm is usually here. On this side, my arm will be here. So I must do this. But sometimes, don't let me do that though. Sometimes he'll be bothering you here. It's not gonna be simple. So I like to move him and then go back here. Now I use my leg. Pay attention, don't let your opponent underhook your leg, okay? So your leg goes here, and then you go like this. Once you're here, he's gonna try to underhook you. That's what you want. You grab, elbow on the floor. You don't need to keep trapping the leg, okay? Even though, like, let's say he doesn't let me pass, don't let me pass, no. It's okay. I'm gonna choke him here, okay? But he's gonna feel like, oh, you know, I need to flat my back on the floor in order to defend. So now I just gotta turn his face towards the mat and pull the collar. Choke, choke him out. You guys have any question? No question? You can ask any question, we are here for you, okay? One, two, three. You turn, grab, okay? Grab his belt, choke him out. If you bump and come on top, no matter what, in the guard or half guard or side control, on side control, he's able to, to deal with this a little bit more. But if you trap the half guard, it's a little bit easier for you to choke him. Okay? Or maybe he's gonna turn and then you end up on the choke. Okay, but I suggest you to keep either close guard or be on top. Let's go. One, two, three. With over 10,000 hours of training content across nearly 5,000 individual videos, we're here to help you reach your highest level of achievement. It's available online, wherever you are, and made for people just like you. Excuses disappear when you set sight on your best self. With Atos Online training in the palm of your hand, you're unstoppable. Quit wasting time and start developing your competitive edge with Atos Online.
Join today and get started for as little as $25 a month. Your future is worth it. Train smarter, study more, be legendary. So guys, look, it's very important to staple this leg, okay? Uh, when I'm working on this position, I like to keep here as much as I can. I don't like to pass too fast, okay? Because if I got here and then I, I go really fast, I give opportunity to scissor his legs, I go for a single leg, especially like single leg, you know? Like this, and then he end up going to my back. Um, also, if I'm fine with the gi, or no gi, but most likely with the gi, if I get the wizard and control his collar, it's a good option. But if it bump me to the other side, you know, sometimes it trap my arm and then I, I can't post. And then he went up like sweet me here, okay? So I give him the hope that he can take my back, okay? But he cannot go to my back or single leg knee since I'm trapping this leg, okay? I'm stapling his leg here, okay? So if I can do that, let's say if I'm not holding Dom here and Dom try to scissor and come up, I just keep my toes on the mat as much as I can. Scissor legs, or I just stay here as long as I can, okay? Of course, if I just stop and don't grab and don't do anything, he's gonna come up. He's gonna like use the top leg to push me and then come up. Okay, so that's why I work with my arms. So my hand is here. Okay, if he keeps his back on the floor like this, of course it would be easier for me. Okay, but one thing that I like to do, I go with my forearm as a harness here, okay, on his uh, collarbone. Like the entire side here, and I'll curl my my biceps and I do this with my hand. So when I'm here with Dom, I go like this. I force him to take a little bit off his back off the mat and now looking for that belt. So once I get there, look, I put my lap on his face. Okay, and then I start pulling the collar. Even like I can go back to the half guard here. I can off in the half guard. Okay? So now if you sweep me, like anyways, like to sweep me to any of the sides, look. This way, this way here. He's still gonna tap. I still gonna have him. Once I guarantee that grip, it's gonna be hard for him to, to escape. If you don't feel comfortable going to side control, you can dig your knee between the legs. So if I'm here, I grab here, I can go, go back, okay? And now look, I put my weight there and then pull. Then finish it, okay? My goal is to, to have my armpit, my lat, right on his jaw, okay? Against my hand. Another thing that can happen here when I'm on this position, my opponent will sit up, putting the hand on the floor, like this, super high bump, like this, okay? Now, the cross choke uh, may work, right? If you are uh, Mike, Mike uh, Joshua, Mike Joshua, go cross choke everyone, anywhere, anytime, no problem for him. But it's not everyone that have a strong grip, so that's why I like this. So you can go here too. Once you feel like he's coming up like this, don't like try to push him back. Don't try to looking for his arm. Just pass your armpit here, looking for his belt. And now you start pulling. He's gonna, he's gonna tap. I bet with you he's gonna start feeling uncomfortable. He's gonna lay down like this. And then you go back to the half guard and choke him out if you want. Or you can keep passing. Because even if your dom stand up here after I get the position here, I stand up like this, I can still like be able to put my lat against his face and choke. Of course, if, if I'm training with someone that's really strong, they're gonna double leg me here. Yeah, and then it's gonna take me down. So my best option is to keep him on the floor. Don't let him stand up. That's why I staple the leg, or I dig my leg inside as I grab the belt. Because if I dig my leg inside, there's no way that he can stand up. Stand up, Dom. He's gonna stand up. I grab here, and I go back here. And choke him up. You guys got it? Now, do a little bit with some reaction here. So once you're here and you go for the bell, the opponent will sit up and try to underhook you. And then you grab here and then you start to open for you. See how it feels, okay? You can go from here or go back to the half guard, okay? Even if you close the guard on me, close the guard on me. Like this, I, I can see to open up, okay? You got it? All right, let's go, one, two, three. All right, so in many occasions during the fight, I'll be on this position, right? So many occasions. So I'll be from the La Riva, and I step into a, like a reverse La Riva. I smash like that here. Immediately, like he's gonna try to looking for the underhook, so I go here, okay? And I keep stapling his leg, okay? So the way I grab him, it must be like in a way that when I hold, 
and I shake my hand, there's no space between my hand and his neck. So if I grab and I feel that I, when I move my hand, like I feel I can shake my hand and go off his, his neck, that's not good. So I must like grab and when I shake, it's, it's safe. So you can grab here and then kind of give a little shake, okay? Like this. He has a hope that he can come up, especially if you're not grabbing here. Because it's threatening really like, oh, the choke will come when he grabs you. But when you go here, he doesn't, he doesn't see the choke. Right, like coming. So now I dig my leg inside. I put my outside knee on the floor, dig my leg inside, and then start choking. The reason that I keep on the half guard is because a lot of times I fight against flexible guys. And when I pass, I can give opportunity for him to like, use his legs, turtle, or bridge, he's really strong and, and very explosive. I prefer to keep him like trapped in one leg. It's harder for him to come up, okay? So if I'm doing this, and I, I can go side control, but like he can scissor his leg and still come into the, to the single leg, link his hand together. But once he turn like this, there's no pressure anymore because look, my left is no longer on his face. And then if you circle around, circle around, look, look. I'm gonna end up losing the position, okay? If you pass, okay, just make sure you put a lot of weight on your face here, okay? But it's gonna be safer if you dig your leg inside here, because no way you're gonna turtle. Even if you try to knee shield you like this, you're still able to choke him. Okay, no problem. There's nothing he can do, okay? Another thing is actually a detail that Professor Dom showed this morning during the cross choke. When the person grab your arm like this, okay, you can use the leg to clean the leg, to clean the arm, and then grab it. So use your leg on his forearm here, like this, okay. But sometimes this will give you support and it's hard for you to choke. The way that I choke, I don't stretch my arm. I just bend my arm like this and I shrug. Look, just doing this, I will lift my my forearm and then I'll. Pull my pull the collar down. So I grab, control, shrug, heavy, and then choke. Okay. All right. So uh, we're gonna keep doing this uh, position here. Okay. Again, if you stand up, so now like, I'll grab it like this, and it's very important to keep the lap against his face. Okay. So if you really sit up like this, dig your leg inside. Here. Okay. Try to skate, Professor. He's gonna try to skate. Just put the weight on him, okay? Um, now let's work like just we're gonna do in the fight, okay? So I'll be here super strong, okay? One, two, three, okay? Once I get here, I control, okay? Once I get here, he's gonna sit up. Okay, control, leave my leg inside. You see that I go from here to here. This is very, very important and super good for this show. Another thing is, when I'm here, I start going for the regular choke, let's say. And my opponent immediately flat on the floor, put both shoulders on that, like this, okay? Look, if I pass, I'll give you opportunity to move, right? Remember. I go for the choke, I pass, he's gonna go for arm bar, he's gonna save the hips, okay? If you feel that your opponent is flatting on the floor, like when you're here, like this, what are you gonna do? Grab as a cross choke, because you no longer can go to the collar. Grab as a cross choke, but instead, this leg right here will go under his armpit, okay, here, and the other knee will pop to this side. So you go to the quarter guard, Mm, quarter mount. Quarter mount. Okay, right here. So when I'm here, it's gonna bridge, right? Exactly, it's gonna bridge like this. The back of. And that's one thing that I need to, to be careful, okay? So when he breathes, bridge. Every time he breathes, he opens the leg, okay? So I gotta have this feeling. Impossible for him to bridge with the leg locked. Lock your leg and try to bridge. It's not gonna be strong. He needs to open the leg. I need to have this feeling and then go for the choke. Oh, professor, he's gonna put on the half guard, put on the half guard though. Turn to me. Go back to the choke. And just keep playing with that, okay? Again, so I'm here, I'll try to choke, he's flatting on the floor, press her leg under his arm. Very important because 
if you mount with this forearm in between your legs, it's gonna have a nice frame. Okay, I don't wanna have this frame here. So I must beat up this first. So I'm here, grab him, he flat on the floor. One, look how, how, look how I staple his hips here. I go, I go here, I staple the, the groin of my opponent, okay? I don't try to go with the knee here, thinking about his rib. I'm thinking about his hips, like this, okay? So when I'm here, he's gonna flat on the floor, clean the, floor, the frame, frame go. Yeah, he's gonna frame, I go here, and then I go here. He's gonna bridge. Usually when they bridge, bridge them, people put their hands on the floor. So you already have the choke, don't put your hand on the floor. Okay, because anyways, let's say, even though I tried to put my leg on the floor, he ended up turning me like this. I just keep choking. Just believe in a cross choke. Because most of the time, the person who's getting cross choked, they believe that's not gonna work. They believe, oh, I'm gonna escape, I'm gonna escape. Until they tap. So you just gotta hold. And when I choke with the cross choke here, like this, okay, notice that I grab here and I, I use my forearm in the middle of his face. My forearm is here, okay? I'm not trying to put this forearm on the neck, okay? If he's on the neck, it's great, but he's gonna lock the, the, the chin. So I go here, look. I open his neck, okay, using my forearm on his jaw, and then I pull. If he bridge, bridge him, and then set my leg. If he put on the half guard, put on the half guard, turn, I go here. I just keep playing with this without letting go the, the handles and the collar. Let's play around with this, okay? One, two, three.